Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here, and today within the Backsell Advanced Analysis, I will present the Backsell Portfolio Manager. This is an innovative cloud-based platform for portfolio management where you can analyze your project on a multi-version and multi-project level. We will go through the whole process from publishing data from the BIM model and its versions throughout the project lifecycle to different project indicators and dashboards. At any time, you can request a one-month free trial for the Bexel Cloud Solutions on their website by filling out the requested form. And now I'm going to be leaving a link to that up in the cards above. Uh, now for Cloud Solutions, you will need to have the Bexel Manager license. Uh, if you don't have it, you can request a free trial for that. Okay, let's begin. I have opened the initial model version in the Backsell Manager, and as we can see, it doesn't yet contain cost and schedule. Analysis contained in this BIM model are clash detection and data verification. This video will not cover steps how to create these analysis because I have already explained them within the Backsell Manager Advanced Analysis chapter. So you can find them and watch them on my channel on the Backsell Manager playlist, and I will include the link to that in the description. Now to publish data to Portfolio Manager, you will need to download and install the add-in on the Backsell user area. Process is very simple and you will get the instruction. Now by clicking on the publish button, the form will open. As this is the initial version, Dialog asks us to create a new project on the cloud and suggests the project name from Bexel Manager. We can create it or leave it as it is. Project version name will be the same as within the Bexel Manager. So if you want to publish version by different name, you will need to rename version within the Bexel Manager. Okay, I will click on the publish button and within a second I am getting a notification that the process is finished. I will uh, confirm that I want to open the portfolio manager in the browser. As this is the first publish, information layer is related to one version. Here we can see general information, number of elements, sources, families, and buildings. On the left side, there is a settings list where we can change chart type, uh, what we want to see or hide on the screen, legend, chart, table, and so on. Analysis and report type, uh, we can choose by clicking on the drop down list. We can compare this project within our published project on overall level, for example, number of elements per model versions. Uh, we can manage what we want to see on the chart, hide legend, labels, or table, for example. As I mentioned, in this model version, we have clash analysis, so let's go on that report. Uh, here we can check clash statuses within model version. We can also manage chart by editing and moving table fields. You can notice that each change is automatically reflected on chart and legend. And for now, let's see data check analysis compared with other projects and its versions. Our project information is here colored in purple. Uh, before we export next project versions and explore Portfolio Manager even more, let's go on Project Management page. Here you can manage project and project versions. Also, this is the place where you are managing user roles and access permissions. With uh, administrator rights, uh, you can add or delete user, change its role and define permission on the project. And at the end, uh, you can delete created project, but I will not, that, not do that for now. Now I will open next project version in the Backsell Manager. This version, besides data checks and clash detection, contains cost estimation and initial schedule. Once again, workflows for all analysis done in the Bexel Manager you can find within the playlist in the description. Now, let's publish data to portfolio. As you may notice, a publisher automatically recognizes project name because project already exists within the portfolio. Now we can create both versions within the browser. We can notice that a lot of high priority clashes uh, were uh, solved in the meanwhile. 
once again, we can change chart type to fit the best of our needs, uh, but uh, for a complete impression and presentation of portfolio manager features, I will export a couple of more project versions. Within this version, construction schedule was optimized automatically within Backsell Manager, and we can notice if we open task report, for example. So let's publish this version also. This version is enriched with cost and schedule information. And the last one for publishing is with added resources. Now let's open portfolio. Within the project management tab, by clicking on the version button of the published project, we can see all previously published versions, which I've shown you. Let's go on overall project analysis. Now we can track project data and reports through its versions within different analysis types. Set legend visible, here we can see how clashes were solving through time. Oh, we can also adjust each chart by changing chart fields. Uh, we can remove some columns and add new uh, filter fields. Also, we can directly within the table adjust which project version or project we want to see in a current chart. Rotate or invert fields uh, and so much more. Let's go now to other analysis. Here, data layer is organized that way so you can explore clash uh, statuses per model version. On overall clash report, check high priority clashes compared with other projects and its versions. Analyze IDS check results per version, number of entered properties, proper value type, etc. Compare current project with other similar project types. Track construction or total cost. Analyze changes per equipment, labor, material, subcontractor costs. There is a lot of schedule and earned value analysis. Number of tasks uh, on portfolio or project level, number of tasks on a critical path, cost variance, schedule variance, cost performance index, schedule performance index, and of course, earned value. Now let's go on more detailed analysis. For a single project to analyze exported data on much deeper level, I will choose the project model explorer analytic type where we can check and track number of elements per BIM model categories. Within total cost tab, we can compare prices per version for each model category. We can filter HVAC system categories, for example, and set chart type, uh, which will represent uh, the best current report type. Uh, also, on this page, you can analyze clash statuses on the clash job level. For example, I will choose high priority clashes report type, hide a series labels uh, for better visualization and uh, filter one of the jobs to check the progress of resolving issues per versions. Uh, for the end, I will quickly show you how reports uh, look like after progress is entered and when you can inspect planned versus actual cost, earned value, cost and schedule performance index through whole project lifecycle. And that's pretty much everything for today's video. Uh, I will, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you in a few days. Have a nice day.